Hello there. Hey, uh, so I know it's been a minute since we've played this game, and my extreme apologies for that. I actually continued to record them for a little while, and then for a myriad of reasons, mostly health-related, I was unable to get them up. Now, this is part of what is going to be, uh, I hope, a continuation of uploading videos on this channel much more often. We're actually going to be streaming a little less often so that videos can more reliably get put up on the channel. So if you have any suggestions of other games you'd like to see me play, whether they be old Lord of the Rings games or other games, then let me know in the comments. Uh, but this recording and then a few in the future were all recorded live. And then at some point after Osculeth, somewhere in Osculeth, we're going to swap back to uh, just personal recordings where it's just you and me. So for a good long while, we'll have Star, but that's after this part. So maybe that excites you, maybe that disappoints you, nonetheless. Um, but beyond that, I think... I think this is the recording. I'm actually editing this right now as I record this. I believe this is the recording where for a solid 20 minutes I start talking about I think Rings of Power at the <laughs> at the end. All of that will be cut. So you and I may be speaking one more time at the end of this video, but until that point, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to um, doing more with you guys. And as a reminder, these specifically, if there's 7 billion ads, my apologies. It is due to uh, the fact that the music cannot be turned off in this game, and the music is all copywritten. So without further ado, I hope that you enjoy this video. Like I said, we might talk at the very end, but if we don't, I look forward to seeing your comments. And until next time, you have a great day, and enjoy the video. Hello, everybody. Uh, you know where you are, and you should know who I am. This is... 13? I think this is the 13th part, and this series has a... a I would say a loyal but small following, for lack of a better, better term. Most people don't care. And some people watch it just to be kind. And some people can't wait for the next one. So I'm continuing to record them. I'm recording this one live, twitch.tv slash Tommy Trials. Uh, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, the best thing that you could do, of course, is share it with your friends and things of that nature. But I don't make any money from these because of the copyright music that you can hear in the background. Can't be turned off, as it were. Uh, so these are completely brought to you by those who watch live and donate over on on twitch or you can go to a different video on the channel and i guess there's like a super thanks or something whatever you, that you give money in the comments not that i expect you to do that but you always can if you so are inclined but you may hear me talk to the live chat because we've got star with us we've got red sky those are the two that are are, are speaking to me at the moment um so i may if i respond to them i try and read the comment uh, but a company of Urukai passed this way. What's of the party from Rivendell? It's difficult to tell. Wait, here. You should not scout so far ahead. These dramatics are filled with danger. Have you been following us for many days? Your companion requested it. Yes. I cannot protect all of you all of the time. I am perfectly able to defend myself. I have buried others who spoke those words. I thank you for your aid. How may I be of service? We must cleanse these gullies. Help me assemble patrols so we may cut past the rear guard of Urukai. Uh, any th that that cutscene is mildly comical because could you imagine Barathor and Elagost and Hadhad and Idril just faced down a Balrog of Morgoth and then almost got shot by a Urukai with a crossbow. Could you? I'd be so embarrassed. Oh, jumped a little. I'm okay. <laughs> so in a few in a few fights through this uh through the gullies. We get assistance from RNL, who is, um, Idril's brother. Idril. Id Idril. There's a character in Shadow of War called Idril, and now I can't remember. Who's my... Idril. All right, I'm good. I'm just going to try and cripple this Urukai. That should just about do it. Now, the big thing that we have to remember when we fight the Urukai in particular is they can... The, the swordsmen 
can stagger. So we're not past the age of using standfast in almost every fight just yet. I am going to improve the accuracy. We get every so little amount of health. I don't care about. Um, mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. This should be a, a a fairly simplistic fight. I do want to change one thing here. So Mirkwood Mist only messes with the enemy's ranged accuracy. Arrow Storm, I don't like to use just because I want the fights to last a little bit longer than if you use that. I do like his animations. They're really good animations. I'm uh, just attempt to keep crippling this guy. I don't want him to go... But it's, yeah, apparently he's gonna... Thanks for the elf eyes. That sure was of assistance in hat hot hitting things. Also, having Aranel feels almost like a cheat code because he's got like a thousand health. But it always is a nice change of pace because you're so sick and tired of fighting goblins. And at least here you've got the orcs and the Urukai. So it's not quite, uh. Bring in a drill. Um. Just stun him. Keep him from going for a bit. Yay. I need to look at the skill powers. I, I don't know what's sitting at what anymore. Fascinating camera work. Uh, You know what? I'm just going to... Whip out an orc bane, see if I can kill him outright. I can't. And so I did. Nice thing about if they're asleep or if they're stunned, they can't dodge. So you can just beat them up. Does Airedale's eyes look weird to anybody else? Just. Just me. Sounds like a just me problem. Yes, kick them. Find all of my elves, Gondorian, and we shall be strong enough to fight our way out of this maze of rock. <laughs> Thank you, Red Sky. It would be difficult to dodge while you were asleep. Is this inverted? It is inverted. I've not complained about that before. Oh well. So okay, we've got what 55, 56 more strikes needed before we get stunning strike. Stunning strike is is handy. Then once you get stunning strike and Targeted, we can do Gondor Rampage, so we'll get that probably in a couple of worlds. Last gasp. So we're doing all right. We're, we really are doing okay. Immune to fear is fine. Definitely want that over challenge of Gondor. I mean, we can really just... Uh, Counterattack, that's fine with me. Devastating shield, fine with me. Battle-hardened armor... We just don't need Dwarven Challenge. Okay, we really could have probably skipped that and gone to here, but uh, that's fine with me. Then I want Lingering Sleep, so that's fine. So the big thing is that uh, the gullies are just a big maze 
of rocks that we have to fight our way through. It's a bit different because it's a bit more open. In uh, Moray, you really only have one way to go. But in the gullies, there's a few different ways that are still pretty linear, but... Rohan's warriors must use that cave as an outpost. It would appear they suffer heavy casualties defending their frontier. How do we find a way inside? Deeper in the ravines, we shall find it. There's a pretty lore-friendly thing to suggest that dwarves had masks that covered their entire face. And in fact, their entire beard. So that they could fight things that were fiery, usually. Uh, so that's not... I never... I'm not gonna lie. For a long time, I always looked at this as an eye and this as an eye. I figured that's where you could see out of. And then it was like a... But no, no, there's... Teeny tiny little eye holes right there. I feel like your visibility would be extremely limited, but as far as the game goes, it's a good helmet. Woot. Ow. There's also less spots to save because it's less linear. So you have to go back to where you were or just kind of Make it work. Didn't seem to be. Let's electrocute Barathor. I should get him hopping. Buzz. Also, and of course nobody can hear this now, but as far as the stream goes, if you do decide to go the lurking route, um, don't mute me all the way because for some reason that's not counted as a viewer, which I didn't know. So that's something fun. Um, so Goblin Bane will never be used again because we will never fight goblins again, spoilers. Because we're, we're past that. You know what? Go to a barbecue. Woo! Yeah, don't mute through the Twitch player. Mute the tab. There's your there's your difference as far as Twitch goes. Oh, I killed them. I didn't really intend to kill them outright, but there you go. Poor Ella Goss didn't even get to show up, so we got less XP. Uh, I think my favorite helmet. Plus, we get to ditch this funky-looking tall one. Ah, doesn't look like his head's like three times larger than it's supposed to be. Look at this. It's like... I'd fall over. My favorite helmet of Barathor is in the game. Sometimes I'll even not put on the one that he unlocks after this because I don't like the look of it. Is this where an elf runs towards me? Emotionless and with no sound. Ow. Oh, I have RNL, so there's that. Let us stand fast. Um. I really would like the scout veterans to not go if I can. Cool. I probably should have healed her. In retrospect. And I can do elf eyes, which will give her the world's tiniest amount of additional health. Like 200, I think. 262, apparently. Just have a different kind of Urukai barbecue. Because I don't really want to kill them all instantly. That's not quite as ow. Beneficial as one might hope. Let's go down the list of stunning things. Yay. Um, 
give this one a little... Oh, okay. Oh, that... All right. Okay, cool. Thanks. Awesome. Uh... I could have crippled him. As I was editing the other fights, I realized how much I've used cripple. I've used cripple a lot. Okay, let's do this. We need some... We need some HP too, but Idriel can... Er, yep, yep, yep. Idriel can help with that. Ha! Ah, with that some. Sure she stays alive first. There we go. We'll heal up Hadhod. Still gonna cripple some. I'd like to not die. Ah, uh, ow. Almost died on the counterattack. That's cool. Let's get Royal Grace rolling. That's... More for helping us not get to this point and not as useful for healing up instantly. So we're just gonna... We're gonna help out our poor dwarf friend. There we go. Need to get... Elagost in here for eat. Uh, we'll do this. I don't want to attack and not give Elagost a chance to do a meaningful action. Oh, I guess he had more health than I realized. Okey-dokey. Oh, I have an Urukai Bane. Great. Yay! Thank you, Keeley. That was very kind. And hello to you. Elf Scout says, thank you for aiding me. He didn't even fight. He just ran away. His captain helped him. Found a fence in a cave leading to the river. It is filled with Urukai, but they will be no match for you. Considering I fought a Balrog and one, you know. My party is split up. Two headed toward the Uruk blockade and two more headed into the Warg cave. I will make my way to the blockade and await your arrival. And then he turns back around. And if you're curious where he went, I don't know. Because they're literally the only way is this way. So I'm not eager to charge. Okay, camera, camera, camera. Thank you. I'm not eager to. This is completely inverted. Hang on. Or it's normal and I'm the weird one? Okay. In case that was ever in any doubt. Fight here? Yeah, I thought so. It seemed too it seemed too open and inviting and friendly. I don't want to fight you. So I'm gonna light you all on fire and see, you know. Bong. There, it didn't kill these guys. I was... Okay. No, we, we could not do would be that. Okay, uh... Can I cripple you? That sure would be nice. If you could go no-no. Ah, I can. Good, 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 good. That sure does just seep. I thought just hemorrhages action points when he uses that ability. Um, uh, let's arrow flurry the two Urukai. I don't think I can kill either of them, but I can really remind them that living is painful. Yeah, they seem to be very resistant to piercing. Let me consult my book of cheats. 
They're not cheats, just it tells me things. I'm immune to that. He missed anyways. Good stuff. Look down at my book, look back up, all the enemies are dead. Adhod's a bit OP, I think. So, the Urukai are not resistant to Pierce. I guess Hadhod, or uh, Elagos just isn't dealing a lot of damage. But they are no more resistant to Pierce than any of the other enemies are. So, oops, okay. Gitmar? Uh, or, not a, a, a Simit, a, I, the, the... Scimitar is how this is pronounced, not the way that I said it, right? He intrepidatiously asks his stream chat. Scimitar, not... Like, I... It's one of those words, and even if... So, Star is telling me that it's pronounced, and then he just rewrote the... Ah, okay! this moment warning you of orcs ahead not gonna help though he's just gonna give me a jump scare and leave ah. I forgot that that was a part of what exists in this game that's cool I could have played any game today and I I picked this one this, that's on me. I picked getting my butt scared off. Yeah, Elagos just isn't dealing a lot of, ah, damage, it would seem. Counterattack, counterattack, counterattack. Ta-da. It's either Scimitar or Scimitar, don't know which, but I, I, there's a few words that I misread as a child, or a young, young one, and they just have stuck in my, oh, okay, he has, like, no AP left, but that orc has no, like, yeah, you misread it, and then your brain takes it as, oh, that's the proper way to say it, like, uh, Stamina is pronounced stamina, not stanima, and that's just called I can't read. Um, there's nothing that I can really do to keep them from attacking me, so I'm going to try and get some AP back to our fine dwarven and man man friends. Counter attack, counter attack. Um, uh, Tough company Valor. Let's blind him. Okay. Let's get this. Shield of Courage is something that you're going to see me use a good amount much later in the game. There we go. Ta-da! Need to get Idril. After do something. Wow, okay, that was... Alright. So for those watching the video, I'm going to go down a rabbit trail that uh, Star has taken me, taken me on. Apparently... EVGA is no longer making NVIDIA GPUs. Do we know why? There's a fight at the end of this. Are they just not... How? Yeah, sure. No, pick on the pick on the unarmored guy. That's fine. 
Oh, picking on women now. That's cool. That's kind of you. Or is this metaphorical? Like the, uh, the arrows that ladies will take? I don't know. <laughs> Let me see here. I think I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna leap straight to the Royal Grace ASAP. And then I have arrows of sleep now. The ability actually does what it's supposed to. Kills my frame rate, but also just gives me a, a, a lovely break. Uh, let's do this. Healy, Healy. I can just systematically get rid of my enemies now. Idriel can stun them and then we can just focus on them. I don't have Lingering Sleep yet. I need to make sure that Elagos starts towards Lingering Sleep because eventually the sleep will wear off on its own without any assistant. it's, uh, assistance. They stated basically that NVIDIA is just terrible to work with. Don't tell them anything. They have to get all the designs or whatever proved by them. Interesting. And that's what EVGA is evidently saying, I'm told. I don't have a way to prove or disprove that. I mean, I probably do, but... I'm gonna go with some standard stuff. I'm just gonna milk some... skill points out of... Oh, they're awake. They're awake! Well, that one's not awake anymore. Interesting. I actually have my um card is an EVGA card. Ta da! Interesting. A save point! And I located the thing. Yes, please save. I'm tired of not having any, um... Other things. Uh... You just aren't dealing a lot of damage, so I'm gonna try and help that out. I don't expect her to, but I'd like her to have a bit more health, so we'll go to that. You could use just a little bit of everything. I like for him to be... I just want Haddad to be my little tank, though. Then we can go... I want Lingering Sleep. Lingering Sleep is really useful. And if you don't remember passive skills, I get a skill point every time you level up. So once Elagos levels up, five more times, so once he's level 37, he will have Lingering Sleep, which means that the sleep from Arrows of Sleep will not wear off until someone's attacked, because that wakes them up naturally. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Sure, yeah, no, I'll fight something again. Yeah, why not? No, cripple me right out the gate. Good. Counterattack? Yeah, see? Boom. We're just going to share some love here. We're going to have to take the two attacks, so there's not much I can do about that. So we'll just... Uh... I'm 
I'm just going with full beans attack because there's a save point right behind us. I don't really care if how our health is looking at any given point, so. Boop! Whoopang! Oh wow. Elagos sure is thinking about dying. And then he died by osmosis. Okay, maybe I should have been moderately concerned about somebody dying, but not to worry. Tutter. All right, and just turn right back around and save again. So to those with me live, how's your day going? Ah. Aha! A new shield. One that's not square. Camera. Camera. Camera's not liking me today. Okay, there we go. Constitution will go down a little bit. Speed will go up one. Dexterity will go up one. Not resistant or vulnerable to anything. And it's round. That's about it. Okay, it appears that the primary amount of red blippy things are to my right. So, to the my right, I shall go. Oh, yeah, I'm sure the... Uh, killer cave thing is safe and secure. Let's go to the killer cave thing. Why not? Oh, this is like a boss fight? Question mark? I think it's a boss fight. Careful, my friend. What is that grinding sound? I believe this is the den of a very old, very hungry warg. As compared to those fake ones we've been doing. Ah, good. Good, good, good. So, this is a very giant, very difficult warg that's not particularly difficult. Hello, Mandalore. Uh, but the big thing, the big, big problem is he can stun you. And then he'll just stun lock you and it's a big... It's just a big... It's, it's a big thing. That we prefer to not have to deal with. I, I do not know if he can be crippled. That I'm that I'm unsure of. Let me turn that off on my phone so that can stop going off. Hey friend, uh, you're looking kind of beat up, and those arrows are probably hurting you anyway. So I'm gonna just give you some nap medicine. Dunk. He can be crippled, which means I can cheese the sauce out of this. Good. Good, 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 good. Now... I'm just gonna weaken you. There you go. It'll just keep crippling this guy and this shouldn't be an issue. Unless we miss, and that'll sure put a hamper on things. All right. I need you to stop missing. I know we see Company Valor a lot, but for those who do not recall, Company Valor increases their odds of missing, our odds of hitting. Bonk. A tough sucker, but since he can be crippled, it's really... He doesn't have stand fast on him, but I'm hoping he never gets the chance to go, so. Hat Hod, buddy, hit the giant warg, please.
Light the giant work on fire. Thank you. There you go. And we just kind of weaken the guy until... It's a good old-fashioned giant warg dirt nap. It should do him. Bunk. There we go. Woo! XG! Yeah! Woohoo! Oh. Poor Adriel. She got a falchion. Okay. Okay, we've got a... Elf point of action enhancement. He's already got one. He's already got one. She doesn't need one. You have an empty slot, so use it, I guess. Yoink. Don't care about fire as much anymore. Let me get you the Elf Stone of Fell Shadow. I could just dispel right now, but that could be useful in a few of these fights. There's a save point here. Yes, this poor low res, uh, low res fellow was one of my scouts. The wargs overwhelmed him. We avenged his death. May the valor watch over him now. Blah, 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 blah. Oh no. My scout. It's broken. There's another action. I don't know that there's any gear here. I think it's just all. What are wargs? Wargs in this game are big wolf-like creatures. In the Rings of Power show, it looks like a rabid evil chihuahua. Like, don't get me wrong. It also works, but wargs, oh, wargs are like evil dogs. There are... 48 Thrawn's Coalition recordings, which will likely result in 49 videos, as episode 48 is like an hour and a half, two hours long. That's how long the recording is. I would like for this guy to not be alive, please. Bonk. Oh, wow. Sure took that like a champ. Um, And he'd like to go, which I'd like for that to not happen. I don't mind the Rings of Power wargs. There are different wargs that look different. So it's perfectly fine that it doesn't look the same as these. The eyes seem too large, but otherwise it was fine. It, it definitely uh, invoked the idea of it not being natural and messed up and bad. If it, though it did look mildly cartoony. Can I stun you? Yeah, I cannot. Just light you on fire. That should do it pretty good. There we go. Uh, we... As far as the Rings of Power go, as of the record... As of recording this, and I suppose spoilers for the first four episodes, although I have very little intention to spoil the fourth one, um, other than to say that there is uh, at least a moment, it could be a long moment, could be a detailed action scene, or it could be a, a, a throwaway moment, but there at least is a moment, again, where the work shows up. But I'm mainly referring to the work that is um, in episode, what, two, three, 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 three. Three, I think. So do we see more wargs? Nothing I'm aware of. And I, I have not had a huge problem with the Rings of Power show. I knew that they were going to butcher the lore to a particular degree because you're trying to shove... <sighs> Uh, what, 1,500, 2,000 years worth of stuff taking place in what my assumption will be, um, significantly less time, probably over the course of the show, you're gonna have, like, 
what, maybe five years? Six years? Maybe ten. Okay. I've got to be concerned about this guy right there. Uh. <laughs> Great, I can't see that now. So Keeley's telling us uh, that he doesn't have a problem with the build of the warg in Rings of Power. He just has an issue with the face because it looks like a Pokemon. It, it, the face was just a little cartoonish. I think they were going with something doesn't look right. And they really, like, if, if I'm going to make a warg and it's not going to look identical or, or particularly wolf-like because it's a second age warg, they could look very different. That's fine. So you really have the opportunity to make your own approach on what is essentially an evil dog. And uh, I would embrace the Uncanny Valley and I would leap into it because I would want this to look messed up and wrong and have every alarm in someone's head go, that's not natural. That's not right. That looks fake. That looks wrong. Like I'd go as photo real as I could while still embracing the whole, ooh, this looks, that just, yeah, it's bad. Um, but I think that, I don't know, I think it's the eyes. I think the eyes really do it in, and it, because it looks like a chihuahua's eyes, I can't get past evil chihuahua, which really just, you're like, oh, I don't hope the hero dies, or I do hope the hero dies, depending on what your opinion of the hero uh, that was in Jeopardy was. But it's like, but its eyes look weird. I'm gonna come any resistance. Try and help avoid uh, the guy on the our our left flank. So across from Idriel. Um, I don't suppose I can just stun you and and be done with this. I can stun you. Hooray! Among a stream when. Oh dear. I got a grizzled greater wolf and a hardened greater wog. Wog, warg. They're both wargs. I can't read. Good to know. Among us. Among us. Um, I don't know. I didn't know there was that much interest in it. <laughs> I don't have a warg bane, do I? I don't. I'm just gonna do some very simple leadership here. I don't think I need to. We're like right across from things. I still have to wonder, taking us completely off topic for just a moment. Why on earth? Yeah, I didn't mind. So we knew that the wargs were going to look different in The Hobbit because they're different breed of warg, right? So the wargs in the two towers are ones that, as I understand it, and if I recall the book, because reading those books is a fun adventure, but it's a bit of a slog to get through. It's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of reading. Um, but I think that those are wargs that were breeded specifically by Saruman to be whatever they were. So they would look a specific way. But then the wargs, which are much more wild, would look very different, especially because they were from up, from Angmar and, and what the Witch King did and all that stuff. So it's... I don't mind. All, all three of them work. All three of them work really well. It's just, I think the eyes of the Rings of Power one just, it, it, it ticks off something in your head that goes, that looks like a Chihuahua. Keely's saying, I was talking with friends and we thought it would be interesting if the show went at the speed of an elf life. So every episode would have different men because the ones in the last episode would be dead. It would be very interesting for sure. It would be very, you would have to lean heavily, which of course is sort of how the writings go anyway. But you'd have to lean heavily on your elven characters because everybody else is going to be dead really quickly. However, to me, if I want to write a dramatic thing, right? I'm introducing, if possible, all nine men that get rings. Preferably. The dwarves, not so much, because we know that the rings don't really work on the dwarves. Anyway, spoilers, I guess. <laughs> um, but the men, I'm definitely introducing them. All of them, if possible. But I'm going to get people particularly attached to just a couple. Um, 
I'm gonna get them really attached to a couple of them and I'm just gonna rip people's hearts out when we give them the ring because we know most people even if they're not a Lord of the Rings fan if they see if they're watching the show they probably watched the movies the Peter Jackson films so we know that if they get a ring that that just that seals their fate and they will be an agent of evil from then on out but I'm gonna wait like three seasons in before I give a couple of these guys rings introduce them now which I think that they've done to a particular degree and then give them a ring later uh, but I definitely rip somebody's heart out maybe at the end of season two season three whenever the rings of power show up and then give another one and you're like finally good huh, good this one is gonna make it especially if you don't know the lore of course most of the ring wraiths aren't named anyway and then rip people's heart out again but just every time you introduce to a guy that could be a kingly character you just panic inside that, that would be my preference. If I'm writing a story and I really just want to mess with people and part of what I think would be an enjoyable experience of writing a narrative is just to mess with people and go, hey, you like this guy? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> and I think that Game of Thrones, I've not seen hardly any of Game of Thrones, but I think that is one thing that you've at least certainly heard of is the fact that nobody's safe in Game of Thrones. The guy that you think is going to be the main character, he's dead. The guy that you think is going to be a, a big player, Nope. They're in a door now. So I just think that... Uh, Titan's asking about the Karagors. Are they a breed of warg? I think they're maybe supposed to be. To the best of my knowledge, I'd have to whip out the encyclopedia. Just to check and make sure. But I don't think that... I think Karagors are a unique... I don't know where my encyclopedia is at the moment. Wait, do I? I do not. No, I don't, I don't know where it is, but I don't think that Karagors are something that shows up. I, it's a fine addition, right? Let's rescue the self. Okay. What's the problem with streaming and taking like a 20-minute break to talk about Lord of the Rings? Uh, I don't remember what I was doing. <laughs> okay. I should like to kill these wargs quickly and efficiently. No ands, ifs, or buts. I, ah, okay. Was it more than 20? I guess it was... It may have been like 35. I would like for these wargs to no longer be breathing. You want know to... New games have spoiled me more than anything else. Uh... The fact that hair moves in most modern games now. This would... If I ever figured out how to make a video game in Unreal 5, I would make this first. All on my own. It may not be as uh, polished or pretty as a game from 2004. I think this game would be really cool with updated graphics. And, and the list of people demanding um, yes you need to abandon hope my wounds are not fatal even though I'm like leaned over uh, and thanks to you the warg who inflicted them is no more I will make my way to the Uruk blockade and await your arrival my party is split up two headed toward the Uruk blockade what two more headed toward the warg cave I shall now rejoin our warriors and many thanks to you and then he showed, I think he just walks, so, no, he just disappears. I thought he walked away, all limped over. Talion can make this jump. I'm just saying. Everyone's telling me that my break was an hour long. Okay, I have a falchion? I think that's how it's pronounced. A new choker. More spirit, less constitution, a little bit less speed, more armor. Resistant to slash, pierce, and blood. Yes, please. Hot Hot's got something. He's got van braces. Which are just overall better. There we go. Looking like a stud. I get back to the save point. Can I do so without fighting another fight? Don't want to. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. 
No, I don't want to. You freeze it. I am going to give lots of action points to you. And flames of ruin. Ah, everybody. Lived. Well, Hadhaw's just redefining speaking too soon. Noted. And my apologies to those watching the video if there was this big old hefty cut where I may have just, depending on how I'm feeling when I edit this video, I might just, it may be a very awkward cut. So that uh, you didn't have to listen to me ramble on and on like the kind people who are live with me were. One of those, one of those ramblings that. Uh... Well, actually, we can tell. How long has it been since I've been at the safe spot? Yeah, yeah. I... Okay, so I didn't talk for an hour because we had a couple of fights. So I talked for a little bit longer. <laughs> so anybody, anybody, anybody. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. Um. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, all the standard stuff, like, comment, or don't. You know, I'm not your boss. Anyway, you have a great day.